Jonas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are building something from Mario. A while back I made my own version of a piranha plant and I kind of stepped it up a notch and made it a little more nasty looking and I thought why not do that again with another enemy in the game and Bullet Bill came to mind. Yeah, the, the original isn't really cutting it. Neither is the Mario Galaxy. I think we can make him a little more muscular, a little more vicious with some fangs and blood and maybe even some lighting and like diorama stand type stuff. Today we are going to make a bullet bill from Mario. Let's get to building. I've had several of you ask how I make my template. Here is one of the basic ways. This build is a pretty simple shape, so for the rounded dome portion of the bullet, I am using an oversized Easter egg. I put a plastic bag over it, tape it up with duct tape, mark some lines to cut out with, then I trace that onto poster board, and that's what you see in my template. All the other stuff I just kind of guess or freehand it to its basic shape and adjust it as I need to. Now trace your parts onto your materials. I am using 10mm and 24mm EVA foam for this base of the bullet bill. A little heat forming. Use these registration lines to help you line up the parts on the dome.
now time for assembly. Attach the main body together first, then add the bottom, and last add the top. Be careful as you work your way around the parts. Once the glue parts contact each other, it is cemented into place. Hence the name Contact Cement. On most bullet bills, there is a recess on the back side, so I cut this out of 24mm EVA, cut out a portion of my build, and then glued that in as a recess. The eyes and mouth can just be painted on if you don't want to bother with recessing them like I did. I just like giving parts a little more depth, it adds interest. I found these plastic fangs at the dollar store and thought they would be perfect for this build. Just had to cut off the screws and sand down a bit so that it would fit into the mouth recess. Sorry Superman, gotta borrow dim arms. Found this guy at Goodwill for five bucks, just needed to bend his arms a little bit more so I carefully heated up the plastic with my heat gun and bent them into place. You have to be careful and go slow, otherwise you'll burn through the plastic or you'll get weird creases where you don't want them. Then I just cut a hole, super glued them into place, and then backfilled the gap with some hot glue. I realized most Bullet Bill's arms are facing forward, but I thought it looked a little better with them backwards like he was going really fast, plus my arms are a little bit too long to face forward. Thank you. 
I plasti dipped the EVA, spray painted the plastic, and then masked off the white parts to spray paint. Time to add some acrylic wash details. I also painted a little heart cannon tattoo on his arm and gave him some bloodshot red eyes to match his blood dripping mouth and hands. I had this old piece of wood that used to be a part of our fireplace mantle before we renovated. I just chopped a little piece of it off and I wanted to char it so it looked like Bullet Bill was taking off from it, but I quickly realized that this was probably meant to be done outside, so I burnt it all up outside. Now using the fencing wire and some smaller gauge wire, I'm going to build an armature for Bullet Bill to sit on. Using a pillow, I make some faux smoke trails and leave a gap in the back to stick a pumpkin LED light for some cool effects. To make the smoke look more real, I lightly sprayed it outside with gray and black spray paint. The baby powder mixed with super glue makes like a makeshift bondo that dries rock hard. I learned this technique from watching Bill Duran over on Punished Props. Just twist the wire around the metal armature so that it tangles up on itself. Uh, if you need to, you can use some hot glue to kind of stick it down to the wood. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think he turned out pretty vicious looking. Um, I went ahead and added a few details that I thought were, were kind of funny and a you know, nod to the old school stuff. So. I gave him a little, you know, like a I love you mom heart tattoo, and on it it has the cannon that he launches from. Um, with the smoke plumes, yeah, it's just a pillow that I kind of busted up. And then on the inside, I left a little hole and took a jack-o'-lantern light and shoved it in there. It's kind of hard to see with the studio lights on, but it does glow really, really nicely without these bright lights everywhere in my face. Uh, and you can reposition them, so if that's not an angle that you want, you can easily just bend them forward or backwards. Uh, but 
yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. And you saw me torching this. I wanted to kind of get that texture uh, like it was actually launching off of this and burning what was on here. So I had to go outside and spray paint a little bit. Same with the, the plume. I just use spray paint. So maybe you'll try and make this bullet bill yourselves and impress your friends with your severely muscular giant bullet making skills. Yeah, because that'll look good on a resume. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them much props. Um, I guess technically you can mount it on the wall so he's coming like straight at you. Uh oh, watch out. He's hungry.